what is going on guys mortal t here and the update has dropped yes the update did come about eight o'clock on the 16th which is when i'm recording this it's just after i've downloaded it and oh my god there's i realized that there's so much to go through on this update guys there's so much there's procedurally generated arcs i need to go through with you guys to show you what's going on with them there's new dinos that you can see down there the 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 caves on the center have been remastered uh, there's there's absolutely tons of stuff to be going on with this update so I'm going to split it into parts guys, I cannot get all this done in one video, today's video I'm just going to be showing off the brand new dinos that have come, some of these guys are amazing, I, I love some of these guys. Now we've got four brand new dinos, you got this one, this one, this one and this one, and now, like I say, like every update video when I tr introduce these dinos guys, I cannot pronounce these guys names for the life of me, so don't don't even try and ask me because I can't, I can't pronounce these guys' names. It's just ridiculous. It's like, it's like mot, moss, chops, machomps. Well, yeah, that's like a machomp is a Pokemon, but there you go. <laughs> um, this guy, which is amazing. All right, I've got to go through these bit by bit because some of these are absolutely amazing and some of them uh, are not so. So, we're going to start with this little guy down here, like the sea snail. With a massive shell on it. It looks pretty cool. These are really cool. Now you can pick these guys up. And as far as I know. They don't do actually nothing else. I know if you hit them a couple of times when they're out in the wild. They go into the shell. Just like the Dodic does. Which is pretty pretty cool. But also these guys make. If you got a load of them. These actually. These poop out. I don't know if I can show you here. I might not even do it. These guys actually poop out cementing paste. Which is really cool. Are you going to follow me on? The little... When they're, yeah, there, look. Look at this. This little poop. Okay, they, they actually call it something paste. But it's basically like cementing paste. It's, that's what it says in the description. Chemically similar to cementing paste. So, you can use it for cementing paste. So, that's one cementing paste. Look at that. And that's not even doing nothing. That's having this guy on, like, follow me. This is awesome. If you could make a farm of these, just have like a little pen. You wouldn't have to be nothing high. You could even just have rails or something. I've already got an image in my head of what it could be. You could have several of them. Just uh, enable wondering on them. And you'd get absolute tons of cementing paste. But you'd have to go and regularly check it. Which is, the, that's probably the most annoying part. You'd have to regularly check it. Because my spoil timers, as you saw, they are ridiculously high. I don't like nothing hanging around, like a dead body or all the packages are chucked down. Because if I chuck too many packages down, it, it sort of lags me out. I don't like it. Look, look at here. My spoil timer on this is 20 seconds. I got 20 seconds to pick this up. But that's, that's free cementing paste right there. That's free cementing paste. I've been going for, like, what? Three and a half minutes. <laughs> and it's only made free cementing paste, which is pretty cool. So let me just stop this. And you can pick these guys up. It's like this. You can get to see the butt butt. And you can throw them down. And they've got the little slime thing deal. Pretty cool. So that's the first guy. It is good. He's pretty good. Cool little feature that they've added to him. Design, awesome. Just like a, a snail, to be perfectly honest. But pretty cool. Now this guy... This guy's a little weird. I don't even know why they put this guy in the game. Because he does... He does literally nothing, guys. He does absolutely nothing. As far as I know, he, he, he does nothing. He's What it says in the dossier thing, he says he's a cowardly creature. No matter what, if you tame him and level him up, he's still cowardly. If something comes to attack you, it will run the opposite way. It did to me. I had an alpha raptor come up here. And this guy was standing here-ish ne next to the dodic. An alpha raptor came up, and I got on this uh, this female here, and I killed it. And when I got off this guy, oh, oh, okay, you got woke up. <laughs> uh, yeah, and when I turned around to look where everyone was, this guy right here was all the way over here, right next to my giga. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it actually ran off because normally tame dinos just stay where they are. If they're on passive, they stay where they are. It doesn't matter if they're getting hit or anything; they don't run away. This guy totally ran away. Which, yeah, it's one of them. But, he has some funny feeding habits, believe it or not. 
This guy will eat anything and everything. Anything and everything. When I mean anything and everything, this guy will eat sap, tree sap. He will eat it. He will eat leech blood. He will also eat organic polymer. They are his three favorite foods, which is blowing my mind. It's like, this guy can eat tree sap? What? This, can, this guy can survive on anything, but he'll eat meat, berries, fish meat. He, 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 guys, he will eat everything, literally everything. And it's getting dark. I hate darkness. Especially on the game. Ah. But he's got some weird in this inventory. As you can see on this wheel here, it says view harvesting levels. Now, I'm not too sure what this is. Because it says sap harvesting weight 100%, quantity 100%. Raw prime meat, raw fish meat, rare flowers harvest, rare mushroom harvest, leech blood harvest, organic polymer harvest. So, I don't know if this guy eats dead bodies or anything. Because, do you enable wondering... No, it just says enable, enable wondering to mate. It doesn't say enable wondering to harvest stuff. Um, so, I'm not quite sure what this 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 little guy actually does. He looks, he looks rather tough. He looks, like, wide in his arms. And he looks like he could pack a bit of muscle. But he's absolutely a cowardly, cowardly dog. I might actually call him Cowardly Dog. And apart from that, I don't know what he does. He, he, yeah, it's one of them. He definitely looks cool. Don't get me wrong. looks amazing. But yeah. Nothing you can do really do with him. As far as I know. Now, this guy, this is amazing. These are like the trikes. And these have got a long-ass name. It's like Pachyronosaurus or something like Pachyronosaurus. Something like that. But these guys look amazing. They're like head armor is amazing looking but if i was a note they do everything a trike does got no special abilities or anything apart from the seat you can have passengers on your seat but these guys are literally like trikes they can harvest like berries and stuff i'm guessing they get more thatch than wood no that dude got more wood than thatch okay but yeah just like a normal trike but a really cool looking trike i really like these i prefer these to the trikes actually I don't know why, I just prefer them to the trikes. And these are base stats. These are 150 perfect tame stats. It came out with 1,600 weight. That That is amazing. That's amazing weight, that is. I love that. I love these guys. These guys are awesome. They look amazing. Look at these feeding. Awesome. I really like this guy. Really deep. Actually, is it? Yeah, it is a male. <laughs> yeah, they look amazing. Look absolutely amazing. Now, this guy... Oh my god, I didn't even know he had these eyes, guys. I didn't know, because I went, <laughs> when I when I spawned him in, it was just daylight, so he didn't have these eyes. But glowing eyes, that's amazing. That is amazing. Now, there's a couple of things that are really cool about this dino, and a couple of things that are really, really, like, crap. It's maybe be crap because I don't get why. But yeah, these... These definitely do look amazing. They've got fur and scales, which is awesome. You can just slightly see it there. But they've got a new feature on a dino that we have never, ever seen before. If you go into the wheel, you can actually put them to sleep. And, yo, why won't you go to sleep, yo? Have you had too much sleep now? Nope, look, he circles around. Just like a dog on its bed. It circles around and goes to sleep. That's amazing. Now, I don't know if there's a stat saying that it's had too much sleep. Oxygen, food. Because you can put these guys, like, stay asleep. And he'll just stay asleep. This is amazing. I love how they curl up. And you actually see the animation of them curling up. It is really, really cool. And you can wake them up as well. Look. It is really, really cool feature. But, I think that there's something off with it. It's a feature that I don't know about. Because I was using this guy to kill the Alpha Raptor. And I killed the Alpha Raptor. No problem with this guy. This girl, sorry. It's a girl. I killed it. No problem. But, I was running and my toe pole was going up. Now, I don't know why my toe pole was going up. I think, believe it or not, this guy was getting... Tired. Literally tired. That's why it has to go to sleep. But as far as I know, there isn't any stat. As far as I know, that says it's getting 
too tired or anything. It doesn't jump. I think it's got normal stuff. Let's circle to the front here. It's got normal stuff. It's, that's his. That's his one attack. I don't. Even, I think that picks him up. I don't actually know what that does. I never tried it. And that's just a normal bite attack. It's got a roar. Oh, cool. And it pooped. <laughs> so hold it. So if you press the right thumb stick down, it does its roar kind of thing, which is pretty cool. The left trigger is it's like, it looks like it bites and picks stuff up because it doesn't harvest. And I bet I've got, I've got nothing small over here to try and pick up. So there's no point in me trying. Oh, actually, can I pick up my already tamed slug thing? Snail, sorry, not slug, snail. Can I pick you up with this? Oh, yes! Oh, look at that! That's amazing! And the guy's gone into his shell! <laughs> oh, and he popped back out! <laughs> look at that! That's that's cool. If I actually... Wait there. If I go forward and I actually go into orbital cam, you can actually see this a bit better. Look at this. Look, he's actually got it in his mouth. It's a bit like the when they added the like alligator crocodile thing that's got huge back legs it can actually bite and pick stuff up which is really a cool feature as well now can we drop this guy yeah we just drop him and he slowly things away well, these guys are awesome but i don't see what's going on with the topo thing i was getting i don't know what it was i've got to test this out is it because i was just running and it was getting tired oh just pooped again I'm uh, not sure. Now I have pumped these guys stats, stats a little because when I was when I first tamed this guy and I started riding him, he was slow as anything. He's like he's literally as slow as a snail as yeah, as a snail. That's how slow he was when I first tamed him. He was slow as a snail. So I'll pump some moving speed into him. Then I pumped some, uh, some other stuff into him, like health, I think it was. Because I wanted to try and see if I could get this topo effect going again. But I don't know what it is. It, his stamina was fine. I don't I don't know why it was giving me topo for. It's really strange. I cannot explain it now. It, 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 it's actually really annoying me that I cannot explain it. Because it's got no stats saying it was tired... But I was getting topo randomly. And there's, a, there's surely there's got to be a mechanic. Unless it's just a cool feature like the rock golem. Where you can just put them into rock mode. And pull them out again. These guys you can just put them to sleep. And wake them up whenever you want. But if I know Ark the way I do. They will put they have, they have put some extra feature in. That this guy has to sleep. It will be one of those things I think. I think I don't think they'll just add that new feature and not let it have it do anything. I think it's because I pumped its stats that it's not giving me the topo effect anymore. And as you can see earlier, it, when I was trying to pull it to sleep, it kept getting back up. Oh, here we go, guys. This is it. This is it. Look, it's got a thing in the tight right hand corner next to the like the meat symbol with the arrows. I don't know what that symbol is. I do not have a clue what that symbol is. And this is f sprint, guys. This is sprinting. As, as you saw before, I was going uh, faster than I was now. And I don't know. It's got to be something to do with a sleep. It's got to be. But I don't know how to... Um, 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 options. Have we got nothing to overlay with the notifications or these things, have we? Uh, auto checkbox. Hide and show server information, maybe? I doubt that's it. No. Okay, that's not it. That's rather annoying. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. That's not it. I don't know what it is. I honestly do not have a clue what it is. But there is a thing in that top right hand corner that I don't know what it is. Look, this is his normal walking speed at the moment, which is really slow. Then if I click the left thumbstick in, that's its run speed. So, and you can see the stamina is fine. But I'm not quite sure. It hasn't given me any topo yet, which is strange. One, one. I'm gonna try and do some stuff. There we go. Look, I'm getting topo, guys. And it's got like a little eye, a little eye, in the top right-hand corner now. This is giving me topo. It's it's so strange. I don't know why. It 
it is a feature that I don't know why they've added, but it's definitely added. As you can see, my topo is going up. It's on a hundred. It's over a hundred topo already. But it's it's got nothing like saying it needs sleep or anything. It is super, super strange. Look, it doesn't say it needs sleep on this little square here, but it will automatically lie down and go sleep. But you've got no, like, indication of saying, like, if it's had enough sleep or not. So I don't know if that's something they're going to add in the future. I am not sure whatsoever. A very cool looking dino, an amazing feature as it goes to sleep and stuff, but that other feature, I'm not quite sure what happens. I think if it just gets too tired, it starts gaining topo, and it has to have a sleep. But I this could be this could be an absolutely awesome dino. In PvP oh my god, I hate this. That's why I hate this island, but in PvP this could be like an awesome trap. If you set it in some bushes some really high bushes and the, you put this to like sleep but not not stair sleep to sleep and if an enemy do, if an enemy player came like near it and they didn't see it it would pop up and it would just yam the player that would be an amazing th if they added that kind of feature that would be amazing that would be an amazing thing to do i don't know if they are that it, i'm just saying that would be a cool idea but that is all the dinos that's a four brand new dinos that the update has brung, which is absolutely amazing. And as I said at the beginning of the video, guys, we have got a lot of stuff to be getting on with in this update as well. Because we have got procedurally generated arcs, and okay, we've got procedurally generated arcs that we need to cover. We've got the the caves on the island map that have been remastered and reimaged. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to do it in parts. I'm going to do, because there's, I don't know how many caves there is on the island map anymore, there's there's six, maybe seven or eight, there's about, I think there's about eight caves, Are there, I don't know, one, two, uh, three, four, uh, four, five, six, seven, I think there's a, I think there's seven or eight, it's either seven or eight, I'm not sure, but I think I'll cover every single one of them, in a short video, so every cave is going to get its own video to see what it's remastered like. But it's going to this video is only going to be short. I'm going to do a quick tour around the video, uh, around the video, <laughs> around the cave, end the video, post that up, do the next cave, so on and so forth. So we'll get all the caves, so you can see all the features instead of just rushing from one to another. It'd be simple like that. Now, procedurally generated arcs is going to take a long time because, be honestly, guys. I don't know a lot about these procedure generated arcs. I don't know what all the settings do, so I could muck it up. So I've got to do some testing myself. But I think, just to begin with, my first video I do on procedurally generated arcs, guys, we will do it together. I will not touch the feature until I have made the video that we do it together, that we mess around with some of the settings together, and we generate it, and, that, and we'll see what happens. Because if it absolutely crashes my game, it absolutely crashes my game. There's nothing I can do about it. But it'll be a bit of fun that we can have together. So that is going to be it. That is going to how I'm going to break all this update stuff down but there is another update coming guys and i will cover it it is in the patch notes already i will make a short short video on it because there isn't a lot in it there's not a lot to say but i will bring it to you guys very very soon but oh, oh i'm so excited so guys if you like the video don't forget to show that like button who's boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel and you like the sound of what is coming up, don't forget to click that subscribe button, guys. But that is it. I am Mortal T. And I am out.